Good morning everyone. It is Friday the 8th of November and we are finally moving out of this flat. I'm so excited. Welcome to the mess that is this flat. It is horrific right now. And today I actually woke up to a flood. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it will show up. You can kind of see where the light reflects on it. Because um, obviously we had to defrost our freezer. Uh, kind of stupidly forgot to move all this stuff. And now you can see like some of the boxes and bags are wet. So that's really fun. Uh, literally look, you can see it all over there, which is obviously dangerous. <laughs> but got to mop that up today. And also, last night I forgot to mention because um, we were so busy and got really tired. While I was packing, I banged my head on the wall, but like on this, like, I'll show you. So I went to put these shoes down here and as I stood up, I somehow managed to hit my head on this, this bit that sticks out like right on the corner. And I now have a massive, like you won't be able to see it. I have a massive lump from literally, ow, barely touched it and it hurt. <laughs> From where my hairline starts all the way back to about like here. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that, like it's really big. Like I was convinced that um, my head was bleeding. <laughs> and honestly, that's all I really needed after having to like pack all day was to like spend two hours in a &E getting my head fixed. Luckily that didn't happen, but I now have this massive lump on the top of my head. Um, so that's great. But yeah, it doesn't feel like our flat anymore. Everything is a mess, but it's really empty. I mean, look at the desk. So strange. I can't wait to leave. Uh, we were meant to have two friends coming over to help, but one of them's really ill. So now we're one man down, which is even more worrying than before. I'm gonna continue packing a couple of things up, like the Alexa and my laptop and stuff, and then I'm going to collect the keys at half past 10. Over there is our moving van, which is very exciting. Chris has just arrived back home. One of our mates who is helping is like running late, so I'm getting a little bit stressed. <laughs> but now, you know, I said that one of our other friends who was meant to help was ill. We managed to get cover for him, so we've got someone else. So we still got two people to help, which is good. But I've got to go and collect the keys in like 15 minutes. Um, I'm getting slightly nervous. <laughs> So worried we're not gonna be able to move all of this stuff in time. But we'll see. I'm so excited. I'm inside the flat right now. I'm gonna do a proper um, empty house tour in a separate video, which I am gonna film the second, but she's literally put down brand new carpets for us. So I feel bad, so I'm taking off my shoes. Happy about this. Oh, okay, right. I need to turn the heating on and the fridge and the freezer. I'm gonna do my own little inventory. I'm gonna go around and take pictures of everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Can't believe it. <laughs> oh, okay, I've just put my <laughs> bag of like laptop and like special things, special things like things I don't want to put in the van. I'm in my new flat. I'm in the 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 new flat. <laughs> I can't describe like how excited I am about this. I'm going to go around, take pictures and do an empty flat tour. I have just unpacked the first kitchen box. So we've got cups and mugs up there. We actually have a lot, so, and I'm really short, so I'm not gonna be able to re reach up there. So I don't know where all of them are gonna go. 
Then I've got pans and plates, although we haven't got all the other plates yet, in this corner cupboard. And then I think we're gonna put dry food in that corner cupboard. And I'm not really sure what to put in this, or maybe we put cups in there. I don't know, I feel like it's easier to have cups there just because the sink's there. What do you think? Let me know. The boys are packing up the van again. Okay, it's half 12 and the cleaners are arriving. Oh my gosh, the cleaners are arriving at the other flat at half one. They have an hour to get everything. Oh my God. finished and this place looks incredible I'm, I'm so shocked it's cleaner than when we moved in I don't understand <laughs> everything is shiny and looks brand new the oven looks freaking brand new like brand brand new like the brand new oven we have in our new place like I don't understand like, I consider myself to be quite a clean person and maybe even a clean freak like Chris would say that but this is a whole new level that I aspire to be like. And I'm gonna do a flat tour, but I just need to show this main video what I mean. <laughs> this is the doorknob. I can literally see myself in it. The, what, what, what magic is this? I need to know. And one other thing I'm gonna show you. Literally, right here used to be pen marks from where a child drew on the floor um, and now they're just not there. They've just disappeared. Where have they gone? I don't understand. To be fair, I never tried, to, I mean, I used to mop the floor, but I never tried to clean it just because I didn't think you could get pen marks out of a wooden floor. But apparently you can because they're not there anymore. I don't understand. I'm shocked. I'm so happy. I want to hire a cleaner. Like once a month now because this has opened my eyes to the possibility of having a clean place like all the time i can't, I can't believe it this is making me so happy <laughs> oh, it's making me a bit sad we use the company cleaner cleaner i will leave a link to them in the description it's not sponsored but i would love it if they sponsored me come clean my next flat because honestly it was quite dirty when we moved all our stuff in this morning come clean my next flat and you can sponsor a video I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> and it was literally just one woman. I thought maybe two, at least two people would come in and clean this flat. One, one woman by herself. She was so nice and so like happy to clean it. And I can't thank Cleaner Cleaner enough. Well now I'm waiting for Chris to come pick me up. He's going to drop off the van um, and then yeah. And then we're out of this flat. Well, we've got to come back tomorrow just to double check everything and hand over the keys. But we're done. And then I have to go and see the monstrosity that is our new place with all the mess. <laughs> we have so much stuff, I don't understand. But yeah, this, um, I can't get over how clean this thing looks. Don't quite understand it. She is a god and a magician. That's the only way to describe it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna film this empty flat tour and then I guess I'll see you back at the new place. gonna die so I'm gonna see this as quickly as possible okay so when I was dancing around having a bit of fun um, I could see a guy waiting downstairs and I was like I bet he's here to view this property basically they had someone who was gonna come and rent it off to us but for whatever reason literally like three days ago they pulled out or the estate agent said no I don't know what happened so they put it back on the market and we were told that someone's gonna come and view it today at 5 30 it's now quarter to six and someone came and viewed it at half one today. So we thought, 
oh, that must be the person who's coming here at half five and they just came early. So then I get a knock at the door, thinking it's Chris, and I'm like, okay, cool, we can go now. Got my music playing, <laughs> I open the door, it's not Chris. Uh, it's this lovely young gentleman, and he says, oh, are you Michelle? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, are you the person who's meant to be viewing this at half five? And he was like, yeah, I've been waiting here for like 45 minutes, and I've tried calling them, and the agents won't answer the phone, and I don't know what's going on, and I said, I'm really sorry but I think they've got their timings mixed up because they showed someone around this morning and then they, I don't think they had someone else to come for this evening. So he was like, oh, so who are you? And I was like, oh, I'm the current tenant, but we've literally just moved out today. So then he started asking me what it's like living here. And I'm gonna be brutally honest. Um, and he said, I could hear everyone shouting and all the music playing from standing outside is that what it's like living here? And I said, yes, don't live here, <laughs> essentially. And he was like, okay, so is it like that every day? And I was like, pretty much, um, yeah. And then he looked at me, he looked so sad, bless him. And he was like, I have two kids, I can't live here. And I said, don't, don't live here with two kids because I feel unsafe and I don't want children to have to feel unsafe. And above us, a young family has just, like, moved in over the summer and I feel so bad that that we weren't able to tell them how horrific it is living here. And as a child, it must be even worse. Um, so he looked really sad that it wasn't like a good property for him. And also that he'd been stood up by estate agents. Like, that's horrible. He said he'd been waiting 45 minutes and no one came. I'm glad that I was able to tell him exactly what it was like. And he was like, thank you. I'm so glad that although the estate agents wasted, their, wasted my time, I didn't then go and put an offer down on the property when it's not good for children. My camera just died from the last clip and I know I've got very limited space on my phone, but I just wanted to end that off by saying that I felt really bad for the guy, but I'm also happy that I was able to talk to him as a person and without the estate agents there being like, oh, this is such a great property when it's not. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to jump in here and say. So we are back in our new flat. There is so much mess everywhere. We've just put the mattress on the floor in the living room because it's where it would fit <laughs> we're literally in a sea of mess i don't think you can really well there you go <laughs> uh, but yeah this is going to be our first night in the new flat which is exciting but thank you sam and henry you are a massive help today the way you t came in and told me about it i really thought you'd <laughs> broken something he came back after dropping stuff off here and he was like we have something to tell you. And I was like, what? And he was like, it's very disrespectful that Sam and Henry haven't made it into the vlog yet. And I was convinced they were gonna tell me they broke something. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this moving vlog. And yeah. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching as we stressed. I have a few other moving slash homeware related videos coming up on my channel. So if you like that kind of content, subscribe. All right, bye.